crime in this community. At this hour, the Mecklenburg County Commission is getting an earful about the crime wave sweeping Charlotte. That as we narrow the list of who will be our next police chief when Daryl Stevens steps down in just a few weeks. Yesterday, three finalists for the job were named. Today, our Mario Roldan gives you an exclusive look at two of them. Frustration reaching a boiling point. Home invasions, car break-ins, assaults. A hot topic here in Charlotte. How do you plan to address that issue if you become the next chief? Some of the ways that we've addressed some of the property crimes in, in Richmond, Virginia, is our deployment of officers. That's Rodney Monroe in action at a school lockdown in Richmond Tuesday. Police chief for three years there, he's credited with a dramatic drop in crime. Not deploying the officers strictly uh, during the evening, midnight tours, but being uh, uh, very uh, diligent during the daylight hours. I think that's part of the equation, but we cannot arrest our way out of the problems we're seeing in the city. A CMPD veteran of 28 years. Deputy Chief Jerry Sennett considers fighting crime his forte. We have to deal with our repeat offenders, especially when it comes to property, uh, better than we are. Sennett reminds us of historic lows in violent crime during his time in Charlotte. My entire career within the police department would be something that should be considered, not just what's happened in this city over the last couple months. While Charlotte is home for Sennett, Monroe has held three positions in three different cities over the last eight years. Rodney Monroe doesn't look at this as a stepping stone, but looks at it as a great opportunity to bring forth, you know, what I've found to be some successful strategies. We reached out to Atlanta's assistant police chief, Alan Dreher, is the third finalist for the job. We haven't heard from him yet. The three candidates will be together in Charlotte next week. Log on to our website, WCNC.com, to find out more about your chance to meet them and watch our unedited interviews with Monroe and Senate. Mario Roldan, Carolina's News Connection. And we'd like to know.